<clears throat> Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to embed um, a YouTube video or a Quizlet deck uh, into a content page. <clears throat> uh, so really quickly, first, we're going to log in. Um, so I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you can go here. Um, so username and my password is already saved. Okay, then we're going to go to content. Everybody should have access uh, to post content. That's not the same for the library, but the content, everyone should have access. Um, so first of all, we'll show you what content looks like. Um, I'm just find an image of cellular byproduct pathways. Go over here and I'll hide the title. Right click up there and then I hit it. Um, so this is what an image would look like. Um, we do have, for example, here's an embedded YouTube video. This is what an embedded YouTube video would look like. Um, if we come over here to add an item, so content, add an item, uh, we can add one with this form. We can add a YouTube video. We can add any type of content with this form. I'll just go to YouTube. I'll find something, um, say, for example, you want a video on the Golgi reflex. Um, come over here to the YouTube video. I'm going to pause it. <clears throat> and we'll go to share and embed. And then we will copy all this HTML code. You'll come down here to the serialized file and you'll paste this plain text and put in the extension HTML. We won't have to add a file. You don't have to use this button because this would just automatically do this with an uploaded file. <clears throat> right. So we'll put um, title, the OG reflex, author. Uh, that would be the actual author. So the channel name, step one, simplified. One simplified um, is English keywords. We'll put the all put on um, biology. These will be search terms and neuroscience. And for description, we'll put how the goal G tendon reflex works and why it is important. So you'll just put <clears throat> um, any description here you find appropriate. This is a preview of what it'll look like. And say add item. And it will take you to the newly created page with the embedded YouTube video. So this should play like normal. We won't do it right now because <clears throat> it's not super important. Um, so here's the form. Now it should show up on the search bar, LG, right here. So you can find it that way as well. <clears throat> now, if we wanted to do a Quizlet deck, these will embed in a similar way. Let's just search French vocabulary. So we'll find a public deck. These are not public, so we'll just do um, this. Looks like a good one. <clears throat> um, we'll come over here. We'll put embed. And these are the different um, types of uh, applications you can embed. Flashcards is the most simple one, so we'll copy that HTML. Come back over here to add an item. We'll paste the HTML as plain text. We'll put HTML here as well. You can see it shows up here. I like skateboarding. Uh, J'aime la skate, I think. Le skate, sorry. Um, <clears throat> put a title. Basic French sentences. Quiz. Let me deck. Author. We'll go over here and find the... Uh, Rachel, the name of the author in Quizlet. 
just to give credit where it's due. Um, languages, English, French, um, keywords, uh, sentences. <clears throat> really, we don't need to put that because this will make it come up on search terms as well if we put sentences here. Um, <clears throat> a, uh, we already have basic, so that's probably good. Some basic French sentences to practice. And again, we don't have to use add file because this has already been filled in by us, and so <clears throat> that's not necessary. This would just fill in the data and add item, basic French sentences, Quizlet deck. And it actually looks, I think, a little bit nicer um, in the full view. Um, so that's it. And we'll make some more videos on how to upload other things in a bit.